Hey lovely viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Peace and today we're gonna bake a cake. So we're gonna make a simple cake uh, with very little ingredients. So we start by preheating our oven, then we'll go ahead and prepare our butter and then we are good to go. It took me about 40 minutes to preheat my oven to the level where I wanted it to be. Right here are our ingredients. We'll be making a simple cake. We don't need a lot of stuff in it. So we have flour. We have eggs, sugar, cooking oil. We're using cooking oil and not butter. Baking powder and salt. That's all we'll need for this cake. I'll start by adding our sugar. And then I'll go ahead and add the three quarters of cooking oil. Yeah, I don't need to mix much because the oil is already watery. Then I'll break my eggs and add in. Together with the yolks, I don't need to separate them. Right now I'll add the eggs and stir until all the sugar is dissolved. So right now our sugar is dissolved. There are no particles of sugar left. So I'll go ahead and add our flour, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. So this right here is how our butter looks like. So this is our flour. I'll go ahead and add two cups of flour. So the first one was full, so this one I'll not cook it full. So I'll add in this one too. I'll go ahead and add baking powder. One and a half. And then salt. So, there is no milk at the moment, so we shall use water instead of milk. I'll keep on adding water until I get the texture I want. So here you can add any ingredients you want. But today I've decided to make it plain. I'm not adding any other thing. Because it's not for keeping. We shall eat it immediately. So... I've just added normal stuff. I think this texture is okay. So right now we shall put in our saucepan and take it to our oven. So that's the texture we want. Right here is our saucepan which we are going to use. So you pour some little oil. 
to use this paper for spreading the oil throughout the first pan. This will help us so that the cake doesn't stick on the saucepan, so that it's easy to remove it after baking. Then I'll go ahead and sprinkle some little flour. I'll go ahead and spread this paper on the sides of the saucepan. Just like that, and this side too. So I'll go ahead and pour our butter into the saucepan. I do this to help remove the bubbles from the butter. So right now that our butter is ready, I'll go ahead and put it in the saucepan. You see, our oven is also ready. So I'll go ahead and bring our butter and put it here. So we shall just have to put it here. And there you go. Go ahead and cover it until it's ready. So right now that I've finished putting our cake, I'll just keep on adding fire until it's ready. So right now our cake has started turning brown on the sides. So I'll go ahead and change the fire. I'll take it from down. This is the iron sheet, it's what I'm going to use. I'll change the fire and put it up so that the upper part can also get ready. So this is how our African oven looks like. And this is the time that I love most. So our cake is ready. When I put in the knife, it comes out clean with nothing sticking on it. So everyone is excited and ready to eat this cake. Please guys, remember to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Share the video. And remember to hit the notification bell so that you're notified the next time I upload another video. See you in the next one. Bye.